Hello and welcome to Flutats. In this tutorial, we're gonna be learning how to animate this bottle to go from the certain shape of form to another, as you can see here. And we are gonna use an animation technique called Morphin. Learn more after this intro. Before we start, let me first give you an idea about Morphin animation for those who are new or beginners. So Morphin is a form of animation that allows you, as an example in After Effects, to animate the path of any shape to go from starting form to another, like this rectangle morphing into a circle. Sometimes it's just two keyframes, sometimes it's frame by frame animation. And you can see that a lot in cell animation. And the one we are gonna do in this tutorial is gonna be keyframes since we are working with After Effects and that depends on the path of shape you're working with. As you can see here on the illustrator file, I have three illustrations and we only need one, which is the last one. But for my workflow, I always tend to do this way where I have multiple illustrations so I can have a clear idea about what the end result will be look like and the transformation between the first state of the illustration to the end result. After you import your illustration file to After Effects, and create the shapes from the layers. Now let's name our layers and put them in order so our timeline is clean for what we are going to do next. Now that we have everything set up, the first thing we're gonna start with is the bar itself and the cap. So let's solo both of them by clicking on this box right here. Let's reveal the path of both of these shapes. I mean the bottom one by searching on the search box for path. This will reveal it. Now let's start. Keyframing the path of the power by first adding 9 keyframes. These keyframes will gonna drive the entire animation. Let's first add a keyframe at the start and another one 12 frames forward. I pressed the wrong key. Then add mo 3 more by adding a space of 5 frames and you can do that by pressing the page up or down let's press the page down 5 times and add the keyframe then 5 times add the keyframe and one more time add the keyframe let me explain to you what these keyframes will do the first two keyframes right here are the main keyframes for the shape to go from the starting form to the next one as you can see here in the illustration to go from this one to this one and the other three keyframes right here is just to add what we call overlapping that will give our animation some form of life in this case by bouncing it gives it bouncing now let's move 12 frames after this one one two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and add another keyframe for the last state of our illustration so this will be going from this state to the final one now let's do the same thing and move forward 5 frames add the keyframe another 5 keyframes and add the keyframe another 5 keyframes and add a keyframe and for these 3 last keyframes it's just for the overlapping effect as I explained before for the bar cap we're just gonna be animating the position that we follow the path of the bar we're not gonna do this now we're gonna do it after we animate our shape so we animate the position probably so pro properly so it not uh, have like space between them they need to have the same graph animation now let's animate the change of these keyframes by moving the shape using the pen tool now let's go to the start 
at the start we want our shape to be at the state one as you can see the illustration right here so let's select the pen tool and go to the first keyframe let's select our our point right here and drag them to the bar until they snap right here now let's uh, drag only these ones in the top and drag them until they, until they align with the other ones now we have our first state of the shape now let's go to the other keyframe and do the same thing now it goes from this state of state one to state two now let's add the overlapping let's just copy this keyframe and paste it on these three ones by just ctrl c and ctrl v on this one we're gonna have it go up a little bit then it goes under just slightly then it comes to the final state this will give our shape a little bit of bouncing as you can see now we're gonna move from this frame to the our last state of animation so this you have to do nothing because it's automatically going to the first state of the shape since we, we changed nothing let's just give it a bouncing by doing the same thing just drag this a little bit above like one two three four then it goes to the bottom a little bit one two three then it settle it down i just have to give this a little bit of bouncing on this two now that we have our shape of the bottle animated let's just select our all of let's just select all of our keyframes and press f9 for easy ease or right click and keyframe assistant and easy ease this will give it a more smooth in animation let's just play with the graph and we're only gonna give it play with the graph on the two keyframes right here that's gonna do the transition between the first state to the second one and from the second one to the third state now we have a smooth animation now we're gonna animate the position of the bar and this one is gonna be following the same state of the bar we're gonna add a keyframe in each one of these keyframes like so at the start we need our cap to be on the bottom on here we need it to be right here it just follow the bar nothing special just to do this again and again you can speak skip this part i'm gonna speed it speed it up so you don't have to waste any time and it's settled down if we keep it that way without easing it's gonna it's not gonna follow the same animation of the bar even if we easy ease them it's not gonna do anything we have to give it the same graph of our bottle shape so we're gonna drag this like this and like this this is gonna be making the bottle cap to stick to the bottle animation 
now that we have our uh, bar animated and uh, also the cap now let's move on to the wave for the wave we have to remove these ones and recreate them so what we're gonna do is just create a shape like so change the color let's make it centered and move it down a little bit let me reduce the opacity so we have we know what we're gonna do then go to effects and presets and presets and search for wave warp apply that to your shape then you can play with the settings we're gonna have this like 250 and this 240 i'm gonna have this for 500 let's move it a little bit down so it fits our illustration like so we're gonna have the speed on 0.5 so it's not fast and smooth now we had the, our first wave let's just duplicate it and give the direction and make the direction minus 90 and the phase to 1a so that will reverse the animation now let's bring the opacity up again to 100 and change the colors this one is going to be the darker one and for this it's going to be the light one in the front now we can delete the original waves so we don't need them anymore then we can add uh, an effect called state med and apply it to our wave so it only appears uh, inside of the bar we're gonna change the mate to bar same thing goes to this wave now it doesn't show up only on the bar then we're gonna animate the position gonna add 3k frames for this one one in the start one in the first second and the last second right here on the start we need these shape to disappear so we're gonna drag them down below then we gonna drag them on the second one so they only appear on the bottom of the bar And at the end, they gonna just go to the final result. Let's easy ease these keyframes and play with the graph so it's smooth. We don't need the, we don't need the linear animation. We need to play with the graph to gives it like a build up animation. Then it slows down. Then it goes to build animation. Then it slows down. like so now let's move to our other shapes let's select them all let's create first a null null object by right click new null object and then we're gonna all parent all these layers to the null then we're gonna animate the position of the null to go from the state of the second to go from the second state to the third one where it reveals the details of the bar at the start we need it to be disappeared so we're gonna drag it out outside the bar and we give it a smooth animation like so now let's add a set mate again to these so they only appear inside the bar 
gonna just copy the effect and paste it on all of them. Let me fix the animation here a little bit so it's more smoother. Then we're gonna animate this lightning effect right here so it's not just going from the left to the right gonna animate the path of it search in the search box for path and add a keyframe at the start we need these to be going from the side left side right side left side to the right side like so doesn't have to be perfect just to give the illusion of the bar rotating now that we have everything done let's create a, a shape line here on the, on the top and we don't need the fill we only need a stroke so we're gonna give it like a five thickness and make it darker then we're gonna add a repeater and make like seven and copies let me make the color brighter so I can see what I'm doing yep then we're gonna center it to the cup and I'm gonna give it a rotation it's gonna be a fake rotation because we are only gonna move the position of it to go from the left side to the right Let's add the set mate again to only show on the cup so it doesn't appear outside the cup. And we can fix this line at the end here by just going to the repeater and mess with position. Then pair these lines to the cup right here. It should follow it perfectly. Let's change now the color back to darker green. Now what I like to do is just add an adjustment layer. And add an effect called posterize time. And change the frame rate to 12. And for the final result I have presented on the start, it's just that I added textures and some bubbles right here. That's something you can do if you want to go further. I'm not going to show you how to do this because it's just customized thing that you can do after you are done with your animation. It is easy to do, you just throw there some textures and animate them. It's just about details, nothing more. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to download the project file, you can find the link in the description. And see you in the next one.